Hello, my friends, I'm Jason Levine. Today I'm here to talk to you about Adobe's Agentic AI. Scratch that. I'm actually going to show you what an agentic workflow could look like doing it for real with our own tools. Now for this experiment, it involves two additional elements to make this whole thing work with Premiere Pro. There's the agent itself. This is played by Claude AI. And then you have the MCP, essentially the brain power behind the agent's actions. That was authored by our very own Mike Chambers, which is why I like to call this the MC MCP. So here's what I want to do. I shot over multiple days. So ideally, I want to take all that footage and tell the agent to create a new project, place all that footage into specific bins labeled by day, and then create sequences that show me each day's shoot. This is something I do every shoot, every edit. Yes! Here's what I also need. I've got a bunch of shots that I already like. In fact, these are shots that I planned when I storyboarded out what this edit was going to be. So I need to take those selects, place them in a timeline, add markers at the beginning of each of those clips. and then reference them against the images that I drew up in my storyboard. The agent can do all of this for me. Create a sequence and then export that sequence so now I can actually verify did I get the shots that I needed based on the storyboards. That's the beauty of Agentic AI. You can be demanding. You can ask for things in different ways. It's not that it's just doing the mundane tasks, the things you don't want to do. Some of that boring mundane stuff, that's fun. It doesn't steal the creative tasks. So that's a quick look at an Agentic workflow powered by the MC MCP with Premiere Pro.